Hello, this is Anna, and welcome to Picky Eaters 911. Now, today I'm going to make a beautiful fruit platter. Well, this fruit platter has a little bit of a twist, and and the reason for that is I wanted to make something that the kids would really enjoy and get excited about eating. Uh, my daughter is going to have uh, this little party at her school, and all the mommies had to bring something. And of course, I'm very busy, so I'm always the last mom to sign up. And the last thing that was left to sign up for was the fruit platter. The fruit platter, you know, what most kids never touch. They touch the muffins and the bagels and the, the donuts and all the good stuff, but they don't want to touch the fruit platter. So I thought, well, what a great opportunity to put something together that the kids would really get excited about and get some fruits in them. So I have a great recipe for a fruit porcupine. And I think you're going to love this, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're back, and so what I've done is I've taken my honeydew. This is a nice big size honeydew. Of you can see this, and I've cut it in, in half, and I hollowed it out. And this is going to be the base for our porcupine. And so here I have all this array of beautiful um, fruits. I have the seedless um, green grapes, and I have these wonderful, these are in season right now in November, these wonderful um, red grapes that are seedless. They're delicious. I have some strawberries, and then I have some cantaloupe that I'm going to scoop out, and I'm going to make melon balls out of this and this is how you do it you just kind of you go in there and you scoop and you make a little ball and you know you first you take the seeds out of this after you cut it in half you go in like that and you scoop and you make a ball see so I'm gonna scoop my melon all the way out and I actually have two halves, so I'm going to scoop them both out, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to assemble this beautiful porcupine. Okay, so we're back. So Valentina here, she's cutting all the tips off the strawberries, and I cut up all my melon balls. And you're probably wondering, well, why didn't I do melon balls out of my um, honeydew? And, well, I tried. But the honeydew seems to be too mushy and too juicy, and the melon balls just don't really keep their form, so... I thought that would be a great idea and that didn't work. And I even got watermelon and I thought that would be a good idea and that didn't work. So obviously this is a recipe that I kind of concocted on my own. You know, I woke up in the middle of the night and I thought, oh, porcupine, yes, I could do a porcupine food platter. <laughs> so, and then, you know, you try to put it together and then you have, you know, some things that you have to change. So anyway, we're going to stick with the this melon here. Um, and of course the two types of grapes and the strawberries and I think it's going to be um, amazing. So Valentina is going to finish cutting up the strawberries. She's just taking the tips off the strawberries. Very good job Valentina. Okay and then we're going to begin to assemble. We're going to start with our kebabs that are going to actually be the quills that are going to go inside our porcupine. And Valentina, I'm going to show you the first one, and then you're going to take it over from there, right? Okay, so let's do like a little pattern. We'll do like green grape, red grape, cantaloupe. Mmm, right? And then green grape, red grape. Kind of low, kind of low, right? Okay, and then what are we going to end it with? Strawberry. Strawberry. Okay, so there is our kebab, and that's going to be our first quill, and we're going to stick him in. Let's see, right there. That looks cute, huh? Okay, now Valentina, you're going to do the next one. Okay, so let's start with. Oh, you got your own. Let's start with this way. Green grape. Push it down. Good girl. And then red grape. See? And then cantaloupe. Oopsie. Oh, nice and juicy. Then green grape. Always do the green grape this way, right? So it looks pretty. And then red grape. So you wanna you wanna put it in, you know, where this little 
dark thing is where it was attached to the vine. You want to put that in there that way so you don't see that on the side. It's just prettier that way. Yeah. Okay, cantaloupe. Is that how many we did? Okay. Strawberry. Mmm. Wonderful. See, now we got the little, we got the pokey side on the bottom. We're just going to poke it right in there. That makes another quill for our little porcupine. We're going to keep going. We're going to show you how this comes together. Okay, here he is. And uh, he's all finished. And we put all of his little quills in. We made a little face right here. Put a couple little tips of strawberries and a little uh, nose that we made out of grape and a little bit of the rind of the melon for his mouth and eyebrows. And isn't he cute? We put him in a little bit of grape grass. And there he is. This is our fruit platter porcupine. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you try it with your kids. I know it's going to be a hit. It's always fun to eat something that's really cute and that you made a part of creating. So uh, please join me next time at Picky Eaters 911. Thank you for joining me. 